Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tiny subscriber, hey boo, what it do? My baby girl, what it do, okay? <laughs> so um, we have a visitor here, okay? We have someone who wants to be on YouTube, okay? So you guys will hear her in the background and that's absolutely okay because she owns the platform. She owns my life, so yeah. <laughs> Um, but in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys or showing you guys my updated everyday makeup routine, which, um, which is literally what I have on right now. Um, so yes, you will hear her in the background, but she's fine and you're fine. Okay. Um, so that's literally what I have on right now. So as of late, I've been loving, you know, this look, not too much, you know, just kind of looking cuter, making you look nicer because you know we already know that we're fine. Um, so we just need to top it up a little. Um, so this makeup or this look is going to be my updated everyday makeup routine. Plus, I haven't done a look with you guys in such a long time, so um, I figured it was just right to come back with like an updated everyday look since it's summer. We're going out, you know, we're outside or whatever. Um, so yes, that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So I hope that you guys like it because it's very simple beginner friendly um yeah this is this is actually something that i think that you will like you will love because i loved it so i think that you like it too okay so yeah <laughs> i hope that you like it um and without further ado my loves let's get right into the video okay guys so let's go ahead and get into the face get into it okay this is gonna be more like chit chatty as compared to like um very tutorial because i'm a chatty person i'm a chatty bunny you guys know that i like to talk so i can't like see myself doing a whole video and not say anything or like be very like teacheristic i, I don't know how to do that you know i try it. it doesn't work so yeah plus also my daughter is just here she's trying to sleep so if you guys hear any baby situation that's here so fresh face face prepped um usually with face prep what you want to do is just like your regular face prep you know your regular skincare with me that's at least that's what i do uh, i do my skincare routine and then i put on my sunscreen and then when i come back in here i mean when i have to do my makeup sometimes the fathers that i'll do is use like my spray mist um like my toner mist situation but i'm not even going to use that today so um, there's no need for me to show you that. I'm trying as much as possible to make this video very beginner friendly. Okay, guys. For the most basic person ever. No, not like basic person. Um, but for the person who doesn't know like jack about makeup. If you don't know a thing about makeup, <laughs> then yeah. This is exactly the video that you want to watch. So my skin type, first of all, is oily to combination skin. Um, so everything that I do is sort of get towards or like it's sort of for my skin type so i like to use products that um will give me like long lasting makeup you know and i deal with large pores so i like to use products that will cover up my pores and just make sure that my makeup looks nice and flawless so <clears throat> with that being said i'm gonna first go in with my primer um for primer see that's what the, that's the lightning that i was talking about i don't like it but um you guys this is what i'm using i'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Master Prime Blair Stick. This is drugstore, obviously Maybelline is drugstore, but this is very good for oily to combination skin. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Let me zoom you in just a little, you know, just so that you get that detail. Um, but right around my cheek area, you see that I do have large pores. Not the most terrible pores, even though I don't like pores for makeup because they don't make your makeup last, okay? Um, but so yeah i usually like to put my primer in my t-zone areas because my skin is combination too oily so i have like very dry areas around the perimeters of my face and then i have oily skin in like the center part of my face <clears throat> this is a poreless primer a pore minimizing primer so it literally just works on pores it doesn't do anything else so you want to put it in an area that you have pores because that's what the primer says that it does <clears throat> I don't know why my voice keeps doing that, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in these areas and see how it immediately <laughs> bless out my pores. Almost immediately bless out my pores. But then that's an, the good 
thing is it doesn't make you look dry dry after your makeup I like a good matte makeup but I also don't want to look like powdery dry I like to like um, look like there's a balance you know just like how my skin is I guess so I like to look a little glowy in certain areas and then also matte in certain areas so um, that's uh, always what my makeup routine is working around so yeah <clears throat> so for now I'm just putting the primer in areas where I have large pores like I said and you immediately see um, a noticeable difference you know with the whole face like my before face and then my after face after I put a primer on looks definitely different <laughs> but then it doesn't look dry it doesn't look like dry skin you know okay so next I'm gonna take my concealer um, for concealer I'm using the Maybelline Superstay concealer this is in the shade 55 hazelnut I'm gonna put it on so that you guys see how bright it looks like because I get a lot of you saying that um, my concealers are very bright but I think I like to that's why I like to emphasize that I love a good bright under eye so depending on what your preference is please be sure to go by that um, but I just like to do what is okay for me you know I just like to do what I like so if you don't like a bright concealer then you don't want to use a concealer that is like um, a lot of shades far away from your skin you want to use something that's closer to your skin shade that way you can get a nicer blend or like a much more natural blend but I love my concealer to be seen I love for people to see that I did my makeup and that's just on period <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the underpainting method not like the plenty underpainting situation no I'm just putting my concealer underneath my foundation um, which is what they call the underpainting method um, but also I'm using my concealer to sort of hide the darker areas that I have cause um, say like the areas around my lip I do have like deeper pigment so I like to sort of cover those places up if, if I don't do it with a concealer I'll do it with um, a color corrector but I find that it's very necessary to do that because then you end up using very little foundation and you guys will see what I'm talking about you end up using not so much foundation because you already did the job underneath like you covered so many things that you had to cover or you went ahead and covered so many things that um, your foundation would have to cover and because you already did that the foundation doesn't have to do so much covering again and um, with that being said you don't need so much foundation because then you already did some coverage does it make sense yeah so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my beauty blender and also for the most part of this tutorial I'm gonna be using my beauty blender to just get through with it because I find that with, um, if you're a beginner, using a beauty blender is much more easier to navigate as compared to using a brush. Because brush will sometimes leave streaks or brush will sometimes need like a different blending stroke. Which you probably do not have. <laughs> or which you probably are not so comfortable with. So, um, I'll say that using a beauty blender for me as a beginner would be the best, um, the best thing to do. Um, but also you should still practice your brushes. <laughs> Practice the brush here. So that is what I have. Um, <laughs> see, it's very nice and simple. I'm pretty sure you're thinking, this is not me. I'm even thinking, this is not me, you know. But because it's summer and you really don't want to do too much, you don't need to put on so much product and and also if you're a beginner and you're looking for one of the easiest concealers that you can use and blend and get a flawless face and give you long lasting effect <laughs> you know for a good amount of the day definitely check out Maybelline as well as elf you guys know that I love the elf 16 hour camo concealer they are literally the best concealers in town hands down um, <clears throat> But now I'm going to do the other parts of my face. And I'll usually contour um, like when I'm doing a full face. But because it's an everyday makeup look, 
I try to be as quick as possible to be honest if it wasn't a video I would have been done by now <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna go in with so I'm not going to contour I'm just gonna go straight in with my foundation um, and for foundation I'm using the Maybelline Superstay yeah that's what she's called Superstay I love this girl by the way Superstay um, 375 Java that's my shade but this particular Maybelline is really nice and smooth I'll show you if you haven't ever tried it and this is your first time seeing it then you're welcome okay <laughs> you're welcome but I'm gonna put about like one drop because usually you don't need so much especially if you do the underpainting method and then I'm just gonna tap tap that on my face and I usually go over the areas where I don't have concealer because I feel like those are the areas where you need extra coverage or like where you actually need coverage and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender but I'm gonna flip see flip and then use a side that is empty and then dab 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 and this foundation is so beautiful it's actually my perfect shade see you see from this area right here And guys, with my forehead, did I say forehead? <laughs> with my forehead, I don't put so much product there right now. I don't. I usually don't even put like um, foundation um, because it's not worth it. Okay, it's 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 not worth it. It makes you look a lot more natural if you don't, um, as compared to when you do. So yeah, I mean it just works for me. So if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. But I'm just saying what I do now. Um, but guys, look at this. Is just one pump. This is literally just one pump just one pump and for days when you know I want to feel cute and just look skin like I'll probably just go with this and not going with an extra pump but today <laughs> I'm gonna go in with just an extra pump just one extra pump um, but that is not gonna make any difference it's just going to give me extra coverage um, and that's what I'm looking for right now so I'm going straight in with my beauty blender, no formula to be honest, I'm just tap 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 in areas where I want it to go and because it's a dumb beauty blender, I trust <laughs> and I know that she's going to do the job and I literally just go over my entire face with my foundation, um, starting with areas where I don't have so much product and then I'll go over like my concealed areas and just like blend everything else in. And then also I find I find <laughs> I was gonna say I found but also I find that around my lip area it my makeup cracks a lot um, so that's why I do like color correction and all of that around this area because my makeup always I, I like my smile lines are even beginning to show through so I feel like I smile so much and I can't do anything about that and um, that's one thing I learned about smile lines if you naturally like to smile a lot then you should probably not be thinking <laughs> of how to deal with smile lines because you probably will not be able to deal with it it's just what it is because I've tried literally every technique under the sun for smile lines everything that you've seen on the internet I've tried almost everything put a primer there put a powder there do, do I've tried everything And so I'm not gonna sell it to you <laughs> um, yeah so this is two pumps of foundation looking good um, but I'm just slightly going over my under eye area because now we're gonna go in with our powder and we don't want any like creaks or creaks lines you know we don't want any unblended situation because we want to make sure that everything looks nice and seamless after. So, yeah. Next thing that I'm going to go in with is my Maybelline powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like I've been using it. Ooh, I actually have. Wait. Maybelline, y'all got to work with me. See, Maybelline is one of the brands that I've been manifesting for a long time. I cannot wait if I ever get the chance to work with Maybelline. Okay. But I love Maybelline products, to be fair. Um since i started doing makeup they were like one of the very first brands that i purchased so they came to stay they're literally a family when it comes to my makeup game um so yeah <laughs> and they're good stuff so like i just like them 
it's not like I just like their products, but they are really good stuff. Uh, and I like the fact that they think about black people, okay? They think about dark skin girls. Not all makeup brands do that. Some makeup brands just do it just so they want to do it or just because they know that there are a lot of us out there right now. Um, but Maybelline actually does think about black people. And that's the reason why I fuck with it. I love it. <laughs> so this powder um, in the shade 35 Deep. That's what I use to set my under eye. Um, beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'm just gonna use same beauty blender. We'll be using literally the same beauty blender for everything. But yeah, that's why I wanted to show you guys because a beauty blender can literally do your full face. So with um, this, I just um, no baking. I haven't actually been doing baking for a while now. I find it too cumbersome. You know, it's a little too much for me. So, right now I just set my under eye. Um, I mean, I just set my highlighted areas and it works perfectly. I think I actually prefer that. All you need to do is press that powder in. And see, this powder, I love this. <laughs> I just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm like... I'll just say love, 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 and love doesn't even describe the kind of love that I have for it, you know? It's just a good powder. Um, if you're looking for a good drugstore setting powder, loose setting powder, then please look at Maybelline. <laughs> look at the Maybelline loose powder, the best. Also the best if you're like my skin type. And then I like to use the powder over my brows because I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. So this is what the powder looks like on its own. And I know you're saying it too. It looks beautiful um, compared to luxury makeup brands. Definitely I'll compare this. Um, I don't know which one to compare it to, but I just know that this is something that you can compare to a good luxury makeup brand. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows, but I'll do that off camera because, yeah. If you want a beginner friendly brow tutorial, I'm going to link it in the description box below. Let you guys know my updated brow routine. I'll let you guys see that, okay? But I'll be back. Okay guys, so I went, um, I went ahead and did my brows. I said that it will be linked below so please check it out if you're interested because I feel like these brows look very cute okay and plus I've updated how I do my brows okay I don't do it the same way again I mean I kind of do but there are a few new add-ins so it's linked check it out um, but I'm gonna prep my eye area with same concealer Then I'm using a brush. This is a concealer blending brush. One of the bunch that I got from AliExpress. AliExpress actually has like really nice makeup brushes. Um, for beginners, very nice and long lasting as well. I've had these brushes for for as long as I could remember. <laughs> I probably should should change them by now, but um they're good they're very very good very steady brushes like i washed them been washing them for over years <laughs> like i've had them for over a year i've had them for over two years very long time ago actually before i got married very long time ago yeah but they're good brushes so and that is that and then i'm gonna set that area with my powder Okay, and then now um, for my eye area, I'm not going to actually do like eyeshadow, eyeshadow, relax, watch. We're going to use Bobbi Brown. So this is the Bobbi Brown, that, 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 good. It's the Rose, Lax Metal Rose Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is the shades that you get. Really nice, um, warm tones. So we like that. Um, they send this in as PR, so I was actually very grateful. So yeah, I'm gonna take. Um, so I'm gonna take this shade right here, 
it's a dark brown shade even though on camera it kind of looks like what like it kind of looks red like not red like maroon you know but it's not it's actually dark brown so I'll use that and then I'm using the Evita Joseph Deluxe Blender brush absolutely favorite <laughs> favorite brush for my crease okay love her she does the good job so I'm gonna use that and the, the brown shade that I just picked up I'm gonna go into my crease and you guys see what I'm doing I'm literally going all over my crease I usually don't bring my crease color all the way to the corner but because of um, because it's an everyday makeup look this is how I get my eye area to look like kind of taking care of or to look like I kind of have some eyeshadow going on but you legit don't have because this is all I do this is literally all I do I don't do anything else so this is just what it will be looking like <laughs> This is literally what my eye area will be looking like. And then I'm going to sort of like clean the inner corner. I'm not actually putting color, taking a powder. And then I'm just like cleaning it, you know. Because that place is supposed to look white. So I'm just making it look more whiter. Like I told you guys, I'm not really doing anything like... This is like when I started doing my makeup and I didn't know how to do eyeshadow. This is actually what I'll do. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna go in with the same brown shade. Um, do my lower, my lower lid. See so guys, everyday makeup or no everyday makeup, I will still define a certain areas of my face. Like I'll still define like a few part of my face, like my brows. It still look, it still needs to look put together. It doesn't matter if I'm doing like an everyday makeup or not. I feel like my brows always has to look on point, okay? Um, so now that that is done. Okay, so um, blush. I'm ashamed to show you guys, but you guys have seen her so many times. But she says me such a good purpose. And I love it, but I can't be part of it. <laughs> anyway. So for blush, I'm going to take my Nika K. Um, you guys know that on this channel, we only do orange blush, okay? A black girl's friend is an orange blush. If you want your face to look like well done and well put together, what you need is a, what, um, is an orange blush. I got lost, but yeah. <laughs> an orange blush is perfect. And then the brush that I'm using is a Sonia Kashuk um, small point blush brush good stuff love this for my blush as well that's a lot of like words in my mouth wow so yeah i'm gonna use that and i like to go over the perimeters of my face you know is the eye for me this eyeshadow it's like you're not doing eyeshadow, but you're doing it. It's like, yeah. It's like, I don't have eyeshadow. It's like, what? what? Me. I did eyeshadow. When? Hey. Stay away. <laughs> I like saying stay away. But yeah. <clears throat> Blush is done. And then I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, do, do. I'm going to go ahead and do some highlighter. This is... Um, you guys know what that is. Seen her so many times. Too Faced. And then for brushes, I'm using the Evita Joseph Highlights Classic Highlights Brush. Love hair for my highlighter. And then I just, um, I like to put this like directly on my cheekbone. <laughs> directly on my cheekbone, you know. And then I sort of like to twirl the brush around my, like, on my cheek, you know. Like over my blush. So that when I smile, I feel like it makes it look cute. I feel like when I smile with that extra like lightning going on there, it's like, ah, oh, nice. We like it. And don't worry, if you're an everyday person and you're thinking everyday highlighter, everyday makeup, you're adding highlighter. I told you, 
me i'll add something to it <clears throat> but also i went ahead and added my highlighter or like that much highlighter because this powder right here okay i love her so much this is a maybelline superstay full coverage powder foundation so this is not just a powder this is not just a regular setting powder okay it's a powder foundation so um it technically is supposed to be used on its own but i find that when you top this up with like your every makeup or like when you finish off your face with this powder I don't even know how to say it she's so good okay I don't know I don't know if it's because um, it's a powder foundation but I think that's that's the reason because it gives you a very nice coverage aside the coverage it also makes you look very smooth after Wow I don't know how it does that um, I'm gonna use a Vita Joseph's brush again um, this is the all-over powder brush my favorite powder brush hands down she's so big and so fluffy and she gets literally everywhere and that's how I like my powder brush to be okay like my powder brushes need to be big so now I'm gonna go ahead and just dip uh, I wish I could like show you guys It gives you a very nice cover. I'll do one side of my face and show you guys. So you guys see, this is one side of my face with the powder foundation. And let me finish it off because I feel like you can't really see. <laughs> but that's also maybe because my skincare is good and my skin itself is good, you know. yes so that is the powder foundation on deck okay looks cute we love her um now i'm gonna take some mascara this is from trestique trestique like as in trebien trestique i don't know why i say that but every time that i pick it up that's what i say trestique trebien how is the glitter in my brow? Oh, terrible. And guys, because this is, um, this is usually a no lash look for me. Um, I'll top it up with some lashes if, say, I want to do some content and I need, or like, I need the look to look a lot more stepped up. Then I'll top it up with some some lashes. But really, usually I just leave it like that. Um, so I've come to perfect doing my mascara because when you're not putting on lashes and you kind of still want to look like you have like there's some kind of lashes going on you need to be able to find a way to do your mascara in a way that will make it look like that so um yeah and then now to you know further open my eyes you know make it look nice and like finished I'm gonna take my brow pencil so it's a dark brown pencil I like I don't usually like to use black because I feel like it's a little too much so just a dark brown pencil works fine and then I'm gonna line my waterline okay guys so the last step will be to set my face um, I'm gonna use the elf this is the elf matte magic mist and set <laughs> I usually like to cover my eye area you know because um, it's just like clear and I I don't want that water making it wet and then I have to go back you know I don't want to do that so well, guys you see my face like do you see my face and do you see these brows do you see these brows? Like, get into it, okay? Get into it. They're giving what they're supposed to give. And that's on period. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, it's about to rain. Oh. Messy. Okay, so for my lip, I'm going to use a lip primer first. Um, this is also from the brand Trestique. Trestique. And then I'm going to line my lip with a brown pencil. Depending on the occasion, I'll pair this with um, just 
a regular lip balm to be honest depending on the occasion today's occasion is filming of course we're filming so I'm gonna give you guys a lip um, but usually when I'm just at home you know or like just like editing but I still want to look cute I would do this look but I will not do like lippy because I have to eat some snack <laughs> I can't have my lips be covered the whole time I can't can't do it can't so yeah So this is my lip lining, or this is what I do when I'm lining my lips. I shade the corners um, of my lip just so that it gives me like an ombre lip situation. And for lippy, I'm going to use the Black Secret Mattifier Liquid Lipstick. I don't know why <laughs> it was too hard for me to say. Oh, but I like my... <gasps> I'm actually not done. I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. That's actually the cherry on the top. Okay, I forgot that. Let me do my lip. And then we'll do that. So that's what the lip looks like. That's literally my lip routine. Like literally, literally legit. This is how I do my lipstick. If you're on um, Instagram and <clears throat> you probably have been wondering because I have gotten a few people asking me how do you guys do your lippy or like what lip product do you use? This is what I use. Sometimes I use um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. But this is the one that I love because this is a lot more like toned down for my shade. But the last thing that I forgot to do, okay, is I'm going to put some highlighter in the inner corner of my eye. It's something that I used to do so much when I started doing my makeup and then I just stopped doing it at a point. Um, but... <clears throat> I see that it pairs very well with an everyday makeup look. It kind of makes you look cute, you know? I just like that. I just like the look of that. So I'm going back to it, or I've gone back to it. So it's, it's literally what I do right now. So I'm going to take, um, this is the Wet n Wild Ticket. Ticket. <laughs> Wet n Wild Coloricon Bronzer in the shade Ticket 2 Brazil 740. Um, and then I'm taking a flat brush, just a little flat brush. And then I use that to go directly in the inner corner of my eye so right here i literally stump and then i take it off so like that and then i go ahead and add some more products oh see it literally just changed my entire face i'm gonna go over my lip or the excess because why not <laughs> you know and then yeah Tell me about it. Yes, guys. So this is the finished face. <sighs> Tell me you like it, okay? Take a second and comment in the comment section below. Do you like this look? Because I love it. This is this is giving like um, black girl princess vibes, you know? Looks really cute. I love my lip absolutely in love with this like lip combo as well as the little highlighter situation that you put in your inner eye or in the inner corner of your eye takes it a whole level up okay so i love i, I, I love that love that love that and i absolutely love my brows as well obviously um i think i've been saying it so much right now but i love my brows um i'm gonna link them in the description box below so you guys should definitely check them out but this is what the face looks like. Um, let me know if this is also something that you try. Because I feel like this is um, one of the the most easiest ways to do your makeup. To be honest. If you don't know how to, how to do eyeshadow. This is literally an easy way to do eyeshadow. You don't have to do so much. Okay. Um, and very light handed. Okay. Also remember that if you want to get like a nice beat. You should be light handed. So yeah i hope you guys like this look i'm gonna go now um thank you guys so much for watching the video uh if you did like the video give me a huge thumbs up if you are not already subscribed just just you know i'm 
I'll take a minute. Do it. Take your time. I have all the time in the world right now. If I even have to wait for you to subscribe, I'll wait. Okay. I'll wait. I just wait. Subscribe. Okay. Did you do it? Did you? My girl, did you do it? You did? Okay, I love you. I love you for doing that. Um, but if you didn't, I'm I you, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you totally like my vibe, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me to grow. It helps YouTube also to see that um, my viewers love my content, you know? And then it's going to suggest it to other people because you guys like it. So if you like the video, I don't think that I... I don't know if I take my time to ask, but let me take my time to ask in this video. If you like the video, please... Take your time give me a huge thumbs up like just hit the bell button and um, bell button hit the like button just to show youtube that this content was helpful to you if 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 it was helpful to you please click that um and then also if you like my vibe okay <laughs> if you like my vibe and you kind of want to see a lot more videos don't just go to my channel and go and watch a lot more videos. That's not fair to your girl. That's not fair to me. It's not fair to me and the work that I'm putting in the channel, okay? So if you like my vibe, please take your time. Subscribe. The red button below, right? Yes, that. Subscribe. Another way that you can subscribe right on this video, um, I think that if you look in the lower left corner or the lower right corner, you see um, like my logo, like a cute little pink situation. If you click on that, it gives you the access to subscribe to the channel. So please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to go away now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you. I'll see you guys in my next video.